What is up, Redbeard Outdoors Nation? Today, we're building a deck for my uh, pickup bed, and what we're gonna do is utilize it as um, the lower part's gonna be storage, and the upper part's gonna be for dogs and dog crates. So, um, let me show you the bed of the truck here. You have a little uh, two by six notch across here. We're gonna utilize that. And we're also gonna utilize this lip right here across both back sides over here. Um, we're gonna run some two by fours uh, right there and then put uh, plywood across the top to uh, create this upper deck and storage below. We, uh, we already went to Home Depot. It didn't take much. Uh, we got our two by fours, two by six, three quarter inch plywood right here. We're gonna need a second piece of this three quarter inch plywood. I think I have some leftovers in the uh, wood shop. I'll go grab that and um, I'll show you how we're gonna make this. We might add to this over time, uh, but we're just getting ready for a trip. I wanna hurry up and get it partially made. So more to come on this and I'll keep you guys updated. Okay guys, here's our second piece. Like I said, I had it floating around in the wood shop. Um, luckily, it's long enough and wide enough that's gonna fit for our application. So I wanted to give you a quick rundown on kind of what we were thinking. I engineered this right here um, today when I probably should have been working, but oh well. Um, we're gonna go about two foot here, three foot over here, and then the length is six. This project's for a Dodge Ram 3500, so the bed's a little bit bigger than, than like a 1500 or anything like that but not big enough to be a long bed which is like eight foot long so keep that in mind you guys are going to have all these custom measurements so don't exactly go off of this but uh here's the general concept two by six is going to span across the tires and sit in that notch i showed you guys earlier and then we're going to have the two by fours which are a little bit longer which will also sit on a lip that's built into the bed so let's get started cutting Our little 2x4 guide did not work very well, so we kind of had to uh, ditch it because it was kind of getting pinched and throwing us off track. But I did a cut without the guide, and it doesn't look too bad. We need to sand it a little bit, pretty much ready to go, and we need to get to cutting the 2x4 and 2x6. Boom. You route those edges, that'll be a lot better. I don't know. Oops. I feel like...
Okay, we just test fit this and we need to take just the slightest hair off of them, about a blade width. So we're gonna shorten them up, put a routed edge on them, and then stick them back in. The routed edge is gonna be just a smooth curb to uh, kind of go with the flow of the bed line. So we'll get that going here in a sec. That one perfect. Only took what three, four shaves, just a hair. This right. project is sponsored by Michelob Ultra Infusions. I'm just gonna make a shave on the back one. It wasn't as bad as the front one, and then we're gonna test it. bed has this little dip right here and so to fix that we're just gonna cut pretty much this corner off right here if I could draw a straight line like that and then we need to cut this end off we haven't done that yet so let's get to cutting. upper deck we're gonna put a total of six screws in each deck so 12 total and um, when we want to take it apart we'll just pop up those screws it's getting pretty dark I think the only thing left to do is we will pre-drill those holes and then call it a night tomorrow we're gonna paint this um, it's gonna be gray and uh, someday, um, not in this video, but we're probably gonna put like a bed liner or rhino liner type material on it to make it tough because we're gonna be sliding crates across it and we want it to be waterproof and not warp and go bad. So um, yeah, pretty quick, easy project. Um, let's get to drilling and we will paint tomorrow.
Okay, we put these three chalk lines right here to uh, line up with the board so we can get the screws in straight and in line with the boards. There she is, ladies and gents. Can't see much under here, but that's your bottom storage. Top storage. Maybe one day I'll make a shelf, like a slide out shelf right here. Make our lives a little bit easier. All right, well, we'll see you tomorrow when we paint this puppy. Quick update for you guys, didn't want to bore you too much, but we are painting the deck and we have the top layer done right now. And we still gotta do the underside and some of the other sides. So stay tuned. All right guys, so today we're doing a test fitting for the truck bed setup for when I travel over the next couple weeks to summer camp with the dogs and horses. And the reason we have to do this is because I'll be hauling um, a handful of dogs and I don't have room for them all in the cab. So here's what we got. Um, this is the skeleton version of the platform we're working on. And obviously it's just the support boards, it's not the actual platform. So what we have is um, room for storage for our feed, both horse and dog feed on the bottom, or underneath I should say. And then you have room for your three large rough tufts across and it fits exactly um, nose to nose like it's made for this. So, and then what I have is space for two rows of that. So I'll be able to haul six crates in the bed of the truck um, because obviously it's a bumper pull trailer right now. So um, that's, that is the idea, the basic concept of why we're building this raised truck bed platform. Okay, just to touch base with what Kelly said, this is a Dodge Ram Mega Cab 3500 pickup bed. So you might not get this lucky with the width of your bed here. Um, I believe it's, this is 64 inches wide and it's almost six feet long. So um, keep that in mind when you're building this on your own here. And I checked this right here. We got seven inches of clearance to, to get anything underneath this deck. Um, so if that kind of affects your spacing, you may have to build this up with a lip. You could raise this up and then come over some more to get more space under there. Um, I don't think we need that. Like Kelly said, we're gonna be putting like bags of feed under here. So I think it'll be enough height, but if we ever need to change that in, in the future, we'll look into it. That's a bag of horse feed right there. And it slid right under there, perfect height. Um, can't get any closer than that. We're gonna be carrying Purina dog food bags also. They're almost exactly the same size as that horse feed bag. So they will also fit if you guys are doing this for your dogs. There is the final product, ladies and gentlemen. We ended up adding some uh, some D-rings to the setup. Um, we got them on all four corners right there. And um, that way we can strap it to the truck. We can strap dog crates down. We can strap the generator down. And then you have all this under storage. We don't have all the horse feed and dog food in there yet, but um, That'll go right under there. We have a couple, you know, some horse shavings and stuff right there too. But uh, this is it. Um, pretty happy with it. It's the perfect uh, ride height for the dogs. They get lots of air. And then um, the corner of these crates perfectly come over 
top of the tailgate so it's the perfect height whereas you know if the crates were down low not on a deck then um it would not uh fit like it does with this deck right here so yeah i just want to show you the final product with it loaded up i really hope this truck bed deck helps you guys out and especially if you hunt and have dogs and you need a place to put them this is kind of a really good cheap option for uh having a pickup truck and lots of dogs so if uh we were going on a little hunting trip you could put your guns and uh garmin collars and all that stuff on here too so uh if you guys enjoyed this and it helped you out and you're thinking about doing one please hit that like button and make sure to subscribe to stay tuned for upcoming uh field trial events and hunting videos that uh, we'll have going on this fall so as always get outdoors i'll see you guys on the next episode